Hi, welcome back. This will be the final step to have our GPS tracker running in our system. So we will use NORAD. That's, let us look at the map again. We ha already have this path clear. Next, we will have NORAD to catch the data, then do some data process. So let me explain what do I mean in detail. So what NORAD process? If we look at the code, our code only designed to provide three data. There will be device ID, device ID, GS, and GPS location, and the battery level. Before that I send it to server, I format the data into JSON file. As you can see, it includes the format that this, a title, and data, and is included with the curly brackets. That's why the data is so small and good for MQTT low latency transmission. But the problem is the own tracks need different format about GPS. For example, like the latitude and longitude, it require coordinate format. So we need to shift the GPS data back to this format. And it require a time, real time data. And it's not possible to provide it by low level device like our board. So it will be provided by no red. Also, a location information. Location, that means uh, underscore type and a location. That is the necessary identifier for on track 2. So that's why no ref fit in and do the job. So I decided to have the device data to be delivered to this temporary channel. On tracks slash fruit slash GPS one to our mosquito server. Then have no red incoming note to subscribe from this channel and get the data. Then I will have no red to process from this data to this data and send it out on this topic. The last, if you remember that I have a node to subscribe on track slash pound, that means it, it can receive a wire card, all the data to listen all the data for debug purpose. So let us move to NORAD for actual setup. So let's go to the NORAD. Remember our endpoint is this. Okay, so that's could be this one. 
Okay? As you can see that uh, we already set up this note earlier and all the note to get the data from our mosquito server. And remember that I explained the incoming topic will be on tracks fruit slash GPS one that would fit the code that would be the same as what we get the on track topic okay then the data will be converted with the function over here and send it out to on track slash Howard slash GPS GPS okay so that would be the topic that I designed so this node receive all the data under on track topic then this node will be connected to this part for for the uh, debug debug port debug node so I can expect any data coming to the server will be printed here for debug purpose okay so let me try a sample data first let's see so if the data is correctly submitted okay as you can see that uh, I simulate the three data here okay so if that is a uh, correctly set up then I expect that it will come in here it will come into this path and receive from here let me do that. Okay, you can see that the it receive from Howard slash GPS GPS. That would be this topic. So allow me to explain what's inside the function and what does it do. Okay, is a JavaScript. And I'm also modify some from you know uh, myself, but uh, it's from uh, the source code from somebody else. Okay, so as you can see that uh, this part, okay, is a part that I add the time data here, and. As you can see that uh, this part that is for GPS conversion coordinate conversion then it will reformat to JSON file okay and into latitude and longitude and battery level will be acquired from the original payload and it will add a time stamp also a type okay so it will reformat to a new message okay and send it back to the new topic okay so that will be all then, then let us move to our actual data actual device and to send the real data to our system okay so they may move my uh, windows here as you can see that my device is is still 
on running status. Okay, so we can see the LED uh, is on. And in our design, that the device will not uh, save the data all the time unless that I trigger the two sensor. GPS uh, uh, trigger the device to search GPS location and send to uh, MQTT server by GPIS. Okay, so let me do that and see what happens. I touch the sensor and you can see that uh, it's working. Okay, so. If we look at, okay, so you can see that uh, it's uh, sending data. We have received a data over here. So you can, uh, you can see that why is so fast this time. Okay, I would say that. Uh, uh, the device is, is still on running process and it doesn't need to search uh, the satellites from beginning. So that's why it takes less time to find the uh, location data and send it to our server. And as we can see that uh, we received two data packages here. Okay. And one data is the the original data from our device. So we can see the channel is from fruit dot gps one and it contains a GPS data here and you can see that the, the battery level is low, thirty-three. Okay? And GS is our uh, device ID. Then the data will be converted here and send it to here. Okay, so with that, this node to receive this data, but actually, this data set is sent to the own track. So our own track can understand. Okay, so let's see that if the data is actually there. So let's open the our node and remember that we have an endpoint which is on track recorder URL. And let us come back to the browser. And I will click go to this URL. And you can see that uh, my device is here already. And how do I know the location currently? So I can uh, press here, life, location. And thus click auto zone. And you have found that the device powered slash GPIS GPS is here. That is where my device is located. Okay, so we can come back and see another table list so we can do the rank uh, sorting over here as well.